We're here at Church House in the centre of Perth with another advanced substructures project. It's a really interesting site because of the fact that it's surrounded by heritage buildings which are vulnerable. It, uh, it's a complicated, confined site. Let's go and talk to some of the guys and find out why this is so interesting. So what are the major constraints that you had to deal with in constructing this building? With this site we had heritage buildings on two elevations and also a basement on our northern elevation that was only three metres away so we couldn't earth anchor on those walls or use the modern bottom up technique. Also with the City of Perth we couldn't utilise the northern laneway or the footpath or do a road closure on Pier Street so utilising top down we were able to move all the machinery inside a site and construct it all within our own zone. So given the complexity of the configuration, the limited space and the proximity to heritage buildings, is there a better way to have done the construction? In my opinion there it's not. I spent 10 weeks in the office trying to work out how to do it conventionally and I couldn't. And it was only at that point that we then engaged Derry Taylor to look at the advanced substructures technique. In comparing this technique to traditional open excavation, how does risk associated with the project as well as the program delivery and cost elements, how, how do they compare? Well the risk was mainly the main reason why we went to top, um, top down construction. The heritage buildings if we excavated and went up from the bottom, the, the risk in the cracking of those buildings was huge. Um, as far as um, progress schedule, you have to revise your program to reflect the methodology that you, you're doing. So the basement may take you longer, but you'll be able to start your superstructure quicker. Costs, we were able to mitigate some of the cost in doing the technique that we're doing by downsizing the structural raft because we're using piles as well as raft. We were able to downsize our concrete thicknesses our reinforcement, which all helps with getting the technique over the line, making it budget suitable. So Russell, what are your final thoughts about Airy Taylor's advanced substructures technique? The advanced substructures technique that we've used, that Airy Taylor has put forward, has made the building buildable. This particular project is very complex and the complexity comes from the fact that we are building within a very confined site. We have the cathedral, the uh, hall, uh, they are, the, the foundation is located above the level we are uh, founding on and we are giving two basements below that. So we are excavating six to eight meters below the level of the foundation of these heritage listed buildings. The site is very confined you can see that we had to accommodate a, uh, the crane on site, we had to accommodate the machinery, uh, the loading of loading, all from the ground floor structure. The, the advantage that we have with the uh, advanced substructure techniques is that we built the ground floor and from the ground floor we consider it as a platform where we work above that platform and we continue working in building the building above the platform while at the same time digging under and doing the uh, underground uh, uh, construction. The underground construction will provide support to the retaining walls and prevent them from yielding in and by that we prevent damaging the heritage listed buildings. Uh, once the ground floor is established, we are able to build above the ground at the same time, we start mining under. And to mine under, we create permanent opening, or sorry, temporary openings in this lab that allows excavation material to go out and allows machinery to be loaded down and get all the material out, get the building material in and do the construction. The piles that that are, that are here, some of them are temporary piles, some of them are permanent. The permanent are given to be encased in a permanent column, while the temporary assist us in augmenting the capacity of the slab to take the load, and they 
also have an advantage of providing uh, uh, tension anchors to the raft which is underwater table. So there it is, church house. Might not have been able to be buildable without advanced substructures technologies that not only allowed for the building to be built where it otherwise wouldn't, but it's maintained the integrity of very valuable heritage buildings around the site. It's allowed for the building to be done quicker and cheaper than otherwise would be the case. And this project's allowed to be a success in every way because of advanced substructures technology. This technology is something for the present, but also something very much for the future.